A lot of people don't like liver, and I can't blame them. The primary issue is what type of animal the liver comes from, how old was the animal, and what was the animal being fed. If you take liver from a grain-fed cow and compare it to calf's liver from a mother's milk-fed calf, those are two completely different foods. The first is going to be bitter, astringent, strong, off-tasting. The calf's liver might be one of the best things you've ever tasted in your life. Most people do prefer poultry liver, chicken liver, uh, even goose and duck liver. Today we'll actually be using turkey liver, which is a little bit milder in flavor than chicken liver is. But what really matters is what the animal was being fed. You can say, oh, I like liver from this animal, I like liver from that animal, but if it's from a younger cow or a younger lamb, that will be the difference. In addition to, was it on grass, was it on grain, you know, was it not getting enough sustenance in the latter part of its life? All of these things determine the taste of the liver more dramatically than other parts of the animal. Another issue people run into is the preparation. Uh, cooking liver is pretty simple, but if you don't get it right, it turns into something that the texture isn't good, it doesn't have a lot of flavor. And seeing as liver is such a great source of micronutrients, it's almost mandatory to say that in order to be in optimal health, we need to eat a certain amount of liver every single week. It's the only considerable source of retinol, animal form of vitamin A, it has high amounts of B12, even has vitamin C, E, small amounts of vitamin D3, K2 amount, depends on whether it's poultry liver. Poultry liver tends to be a little bit higher in K2, but it has all the minerals, tons of copper, most of the elements. It really is up there at the top of the list of the healthiest foods you can consume. So today we're going to take some turkey livers, we're going to marinate them in milk overnight. You can also use salted water if you are allergic to dairy. And then we're gonna dry them out and pan sear them. Uh, by all means, guys, you can skip these first few steps, but it helps. So I'm going to use turkey livers today, a little bit milder tasting than chicken livers, but they're quite a bit larger. Here I have some raw milk I got from a local farm. Just a pinch of salt. The salt is for seasoning purposes and it helps bring some of the milk into the turkey livers. So this is just gonna go in the fridge overnight. So the turkey liver's been in the milk for 24 hours. As you can see, we have some turkey liver milk soup. I'm sure you kids would enjoy this with a little bit of chocolate syrup in the morning. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the livers on a rack to dry them out. What this is going to do is give us a dry surface that will allow us to get a nice crispy crust when we pan sear it. What you could actually do is just pat them dry with a paper towel if you wanted and then just pan sear them right now. By doing it this way, I save some paper towels and the crust is a bit better. So back in the fridge, 24 more hours and we'll be good to go. The liver sat on the rack overnight. If you touch the surface, it's pretty dry. Uh, the bottom isn't too dry, so maybe we'll just take some paper towel and pat it down. Here I have a nonstick pan and I know you guys are like, oh Frank, don't use nonstick Teflon. I'm sorry, I don't usually cook inside. I use my grill. Uh, this is for my family, for my parents. And this is the only pan that they have. So just a little bit of raw butter in the pan and we're gonna heat this up. And I'm not gonna cook all of these livers today, so we're just gonna take one of them and put it in a paper towel. And let's say you didn't wanna marinate the liver overnight. Let's say you didn't wanna dry it out in a rack. This is exactly what you would do. You would just take the liver, put it in a paper towel, and heat your butter up in the pan. Okay, really get, really get the surface of the liver nice and dry. All right, so just when the butter starts browning is when we want to put the liver in the pan. What I do is I move the liver around the bottom of the pan just to keep the surface area heat consistent
See how that, that dry surface allows you to get a crust almost instantly? Now we just want to be careful not to burn the butter. We don't want any bitter flavor in the liver. So what, I, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lower the heat and I'm going to just try to finish cooking the liver through. We already have enough of a crust on the outside. Just want to make sure it's not raw in the middle. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty simple, guys. As long as the pan's hot enough, as long as you keep enough fat in the pan and the liver moving throughout the pan, you should be able to get a nice even crust. All right, boys and girls, there we have our beautiful brown crispy turkey liver. Look at that nice dark crust. Now, most of the time, I do make pate for my family. So uh, you guys can check out that recipe. I did that last week. But if I am serving liver like this to my family, I drizzle a little bit of honey on it. It really cuts through that bitterness and makes it super duper palatable. Uh, but I am not a sweet guy, so we don't need any honey. All right, I'm just going to put a little salt on top. So the cooking temperature on the inside is rare. Uh, if you notice, the color of the inside of this turkey liver is kind of like orangey purple. That's because it's pasture turkey liver. Uh, most of the time, I'm assuming uh, the liver isn't going to be this color for you guys. It's weird. The migratory birds, their livers turn orange when they're really nutrient-dense and tasty. This liver is so mild on the inside and almost sweet-tasting. It's like there's no bitterness, there's no astringency. Now you really don't need anything else on this. If you guys don't like liver, get some poultry liver, soak it in milk overnight, sear it in the pan, you won't taste anything. This is really, really good. I can't see why anyone wouldn't like this. But keep in mind guys, food quality, preparation. You might have to go to your local farmer's markets. You might have to go online, look around a little bit, but the stuff is out there and it's generally not prohibitively expensive. I think these turkey livers were seven or eight dollars a pound. I've seen some farms charge pretty high prices for chicken livers if they are in demand, but you should be able to get decent quality liver for a decent price. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys would like to support the channel, please like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and share the video. Down below in the comments is a bunch of cookware, salts, things I use in my day-to-day -day life. If you guys do want to support the channel, Patreon is a great way to do that, as well as get personalized one-on-one -on -one question support. I'm on Twitter, guys. I'm on Instagram. If you want to join the carnivore community, check out carnivoreforum.com, as well as my Perfected Health podcast. 
If you guys do want to reach out to me for one-on-one -on -one consultations in regards to improving your overall health, you can send me an email, frankatufano at gmail.com, or reach out to me through the contact form on my website below, frank-tufano.com. You guys enjoy the rest of your week.